Welcome back, Eric Arnold here in the wee hours of the morning of the 9th of April, Friday, the 9th of April, and we're here to recap our uh, four picks from uh, Thursday, and then we have two, all of two whole picks uh, for Friday, so somewhat of an abbreviated episode here. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I'll be honest, I'm in the middle of a movie, and I want to watch, I'm, I'm getting hooked into this thing. It's on YouTube, you know, YouTube has all these off-the-wall movies that you can watch for free, and it's about the uh, English uh, Civil War from, what was that, 1600s? That's a hole in my historical knowledge. I don't know that much about that period. Uh, so I guess the two combatants here in this movie are uh, Oliver Cromwell, played by the great Richard Harris. Um, you know, most of you people don't know who he is. Uh, Richard Harris, he played uh, English Bob. That's probably where most people know him from uh, in Unforgiven. I think he was also in some of the Harry Potter movies. You got me there. I'm not a Harry Potter person. Uh, and then uh, the other... A uh, combatant is uh, King Charles the First, played by Alec Guinness. Uh, uh, you know, Obi Wan Kenobi. You know him. So it's like, oh man, you know, I gotta watch this here just to watch these two guys chew scenery. So I'm getting hooked into this, <laughs> and and you know, I'm taking that time out here <laughs> to make this video. So anyway, uh, old business. Um, break even day here on Thursday. Uh, once again, we get the early games, lose the late games. We're getting good at that. Um, I'm not sure what that signifies. It's probably just a random statistical anomaly. Uh, but uh, we uh, were sort of right about the Cubs. They hit three home runs. We said they'd swing the bats. Unfortunately, no one was on base. Uh, but they got the run line done, got the win. Uh, one thing I thought was interesting in that game is, is, is Craig Kimbrell now a useful pitcher again? Because kind of he was a star of that game, at least for people that had to run line. Because the uh, Pirates had the bases loaded with less than two outs there, one out in the eighth inning. And, and you know, it's looking, looking bad for the uh, visiting nine. And they bring in Kimbrell and... You know, it's like, well, we need two, kind of need two strikeouts to get out of this, and damned if he didn't do it, and, and did it efficiently. You know, usually this guy's all over the place, but he was clean. He was throwing strikes, and they couldn't hit him. So that bodes well for the Cubs going forward, I should think. Um, the Red Sox, they took care of business. That was our top play, or one of our top plays. So they made us look good there. Uh, and then our other top play, well, that one just didn't fire as a huge underdog. We had uh, Seattle, and, well, it just didn't happen. Just didn't happen. Um, so we broke even with our top plays. Uh, and then uh, uh, the last game, uh, I knew that was questionable, playing against the Cardinals at home. I knew that was questionable. Um, Brewers get beat by good defense. Um Cardinals, for the most part, played really good defense. The Brewers did not, and that was the difference in the game. So, break-even day. Well, let's get to it here so I can find out, you know, who wins the English Civil War. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Well, our top play, uh, two stars, or two dollar bills, or whatever the hell you want to call it on this uh, Indian Tiger game. We're going to go back to that again. We didn't have so much luck uh, last weekend in Detroit with this matchup, but I'll be damned. I mean, Julio Tehran, if you beat me again, you are a daisy. I, I, I'm going to take a shot again here. I think Zach Plesak is every bit of an ace, and I don't think we're necessarily paying an ace price here, especially against a not-that-good team in Detroit. I know everybody thinks the Indians suck and they haven't exactly played lights out yet. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're going to 
not play the run line here. I think this is one where we need to man up and pay the big money because, you know, the Indians could win this game 3-2. to two. You know, they don't score all that much, and the uh, game's at home, so they're only going to get eight at-bats. So I think we got to play, play it straight up here and hope that they can somehow man up and beat the Crummy Tigers at home in Cleveland without their war paint on. So let's hope they can manage that. And then, uh, you know, I guess we're going with Ohio, you know. Ohio, right? It seems like I know a bunch of songs that sing about the state of Ohio, but I can't think of any right this second and really has no bearing on these games, so I won't sing them. But um, we're going to – I hate playing the Reds. I really do. Um, but – you know, this will probably be like a key test of whether the Reds are any good or not. You know, it's like, okay, now you guys have had your fun and you've set all kind of records at home, beating up some, um, well, the Cardinals aren't weak, uh, weak opposition, the Pirates are. So you guys have had your fun at, on your homestand. Now the scenery changes. Can you keep it going? I'm going to say yeah, they're going to keep it going at least for one more game. Uh, they play well in Arizona, believe it or not. The Reds do. Uh, the Diamondback team just seems like a mess to me. Just uh, uh, They're missing their top starter. Uh, their best offensive player, uh, Ketal Marte, just got hurt. He's out. Uh, they're missing their shortstop. They're missing one of their outfielders, Cole Calhoun. Uh, they're missing their nominal closer, that's Soria. And they got injuries all over the place. I mean, it just seems like a real mess at the moment. And this just seems like a nice spot for the Reds to just keep it going. And uh, so that's what we're going to do here. I mean, we're not paying too hateful of a price for a team that seems red hot to me. Uh, pardon the pun. Uh, so we'll go ahead there. Lay the 131. So we got the State of Ohio. It's the State of Ohio Friday. That's what we're going to do there. Ohio. Let's go Ohio. All right. That's all I got for you. So we appreciate all the uh, people that have viewed. Uh, anyone that hits the like button, we appreciate that. Uh, you sure about that? He's going to throw his picks in the comment section. Um, I'm not going to try to duel with him because he'll probably beat me. Um, you know, hey, I'm okay if he beats me. I don't care. Uh, um, you know, it, it's not a competition. Uh, I'm not going to block him if he does. Uh, more power to him. Uh, so, you know, if, if he uh, attracts, if he piggybacks off my channel and, uh, you know, gets on a real hot streak and everybody's coming here to see what he's doing, <laughs> I'm the beneficiary, I'm thinking, or some of partial beneficiary. So I'm okay with that. Uh, all right, good, great, thanks, appreciate it. Yes. Um, we'll see you. Uh, it's a, it's a half a card on Friday. It's so weird. So I know there's a big card on Saturday, and I'm already in my head thinking, I like to drink on Friday nights. How are we going to do this handicapping and get you a show for Saturday? I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. All right. Well, thanks. Signing off. Out.